What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. I'm going to show you how to create a free Apple developer account and link it to Xcode. Now this isn't technically a developer account at all. Apple simply gives Apple ID users who don't wish to become a member of its official paid Apple developer program access to things like Xcode developer tools, etc. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the Apple Developer Member Center. And then you just want to log in with your Apple ID. So put in your email address, password, then click sign in. And then you'll see this page right here, the Apple Developer Agreement page. You need to read this information and then click the little check mark box there. And then you can click submit. And that will basically convert your Apple ID into a limited access developer account. Now, what if you don't have an Apple ID already? Well, you just click create Apple ID instead and then you'll be taken to the Apple ID creation page where you can just put in your all your information like your name, etc. And then once you have that created, just log in with that newly created Apple ID, click sign in, and then you go through the Apple developer agreement again. So you just want to click this little check mark box, click submit, and once you click submit, it's going to basically provide you with limited privileges, limited developer privileges. So you, you'll see SDKs, you'll see bug reporting. If you click SDKs, you're gonna notice something here. I'll click that here. And then if you click a different platform like iOS and click download, you're gonna notice one of the restrictions because you don't actually have a paid account. You're gonna see this download requires Apple Developer Program membership. So you can't actually download betas. That is not part of the privileges that you get with a free account, but you can link this developer account or this quote unquote developer account to Xcode and actually deploy apps to your Apple TV or your iOS devices, for instance, like your iPad or your iPhone. So we wanna launch Xcode. Once Xcode is launched, we wanna go up and click the Xcode option in the menu bar, select preferences, and then click the accounts tab, and then select add Apple ID when clicking the plus sign. So now we're gonna put in the same Apple ID that we just converted to the developer account with limited access, and then click sign in. And once you sign in, then you can use Xcode to deploy apps to your favorite iOS devices. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.